for today's project, you'll need your colored pencils and a regular pencil and a white sheet of paper. Hi class, it's Mrs. Latinsky. I'm ready for winter. How about you? I have got my winter hat on and I've got my mittens and that's great because today's project is going to be some mittens where we give them an elaborate pattern just like my hat. We're going to be talking about the element of art texture and we're also going to be talking about the principle of design pattern. And just like my hat and my mittens have a texture to them, you can feel them, you can see it. They also have a pattern on my hat. We're going to be creating some wintry mittens that have both a pattern and some implied texture. The artist we're talking about today is Gustav Klimt. He was from Austria and he lived in the 1800s to the early 1900s. His art was part of the Art Nouveau movement and he used really beautiful and elaborate patterns in his artwork. Here's Grace's example of our project today. She's got lots of different patterns going on inside of her mittens with different lines and colors. She also took the cord that connects the mittens and she made a heart. I thought that was adorable. And can you see that round shape right there? That is a snowball. These mittens are in the foreground and the snowball is in the background. Looks like the mittens are about ready to grab that snowball. Lizzie put some hearts between her mittens and she also put her name in cursive down below. For my example, I like that idea of the cursive. I did cursive, the word love on the bottom and a heart with a pattern in the top. I chose a little bit more cool colors on this one and warm colors on this one. It's not a matching set, but that's okay too. You can see all the different patterns I have going on in each one. And you can also see how there's kind of an implied texture here. This sort of looks like fish scales. The name of this painting is Women in Gold. Gustav Klimt created this artwork by the end of 1907. It's in the Art Nouveau style. You can see it is very shimmery gold and it has lots of elaborate patterns in here. You can see there's a pattern in her dress and pattern going on right behind her as well. Circles here. These are like, these almost look like eye shapes. Isn't that interesting? Uh, we have some squares mixed in with circles and triangles in here and definitely some square shapes here. He uses colors and shapes and creates them in a repeating pattern. Her fabric has a different kind of texture here is here. You can see it's got lines that go this direction, which shows the might be a little bit smoother cascading down this way, but this way it looks a little rougher and lumpier and the textures an implied texture, one that it looks like it has some sort of rough or smooth texture, but we don't really know because we don't get to feel it because it's hanging on a wall. A really easy way to draw a mitten is to trace your own hand. You stick down one hand and go around your thumb, but be careful when you go around your fingers that you don't go around each individual finger, make that big one mitten lump and then draw a little bottom to it and then it's a little tricky when you're going around the hand that you don't normally draw with just switch your pencil to another hand and see what you can do try your best you can do it when I draw mittens I like to draw them with starting at the space between my finger and my thumb that's my favorite place to start and I don't like to do the thumb until last so I kind of do the big lump for the mitten first. I think that's the easiest part. Just the, that's thing, everybody can do that big arch, right? So that is the top of your mitten. You go down a little bit lower than that line on the other side, because that's the base of your mitten. And then you can go back to where the thumb is. That would be here. And the thumb's gonna go up and over and down. And there you have a mitten. You can choose if you want to connect your mittens with that old fashioned piece of yarn or string. And if you want to get fancy, you can put a little shape in between here, like put a heart, or maybe you want to try to even write a word in fancy script. That's up to you. Or you just leave it like a plain string. Snowflakes are easy. You just draw an X that's really wide. Draw a really wide X like that. And then draw a line down the center. Because snowflakes have six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one's got six. And to make snowflakes, you just make these little V shapes around it, all the way around. Every side has matching. You can make some of these longer, like that, also they touch. 
snowflakes have radial symmetry, which means they're the same all the way around. Um, I like to create sections in my mittens to fill with different patterns. They could be big sections or small sections, just like this. So now my mittens have got these big sections. You can make your sections go diagonal if you want to. They don't have to be horizontal. Yeah, I guess they could also be vertical to the side like that's called a diagonal. So they don't have to match. It's okay if your mittens don't match. You can choose if you wanna do warm colored mittens or cool color mittens or your favorite colored mittens. Okay, and then um, go over everything in black to cover up all the pencil. You can choose some other dark color to do your outlining if you'd like. Something like dark blue would also look very nice. And then I'm going to make it kind of not a straight line. I'm going to see how I'm going back and forth a little bit zigzaggy on this. I'm trying to make it look kind of like a yarn. A yarn isn't perfectly a straight line. It's a little rough and jagged. And these mittens have been through the wash a few times. The yarn's a little rough. I want to give it a texture, a look of a texture. That texture of yarn, the feel of yarn without actually being able to feel it, but it looks like it would feel like yarn. Fuzzy, fuzzy, unraveled yarn a little bit there. There, there's my fuzzy yarn. I wanna create the texture of a cuff. You know, sometimes at the bottom of a mitten, there's a cuff. Now you get to fill up your sections with different patterns. You can choose shapes that you use over and over in each section. You might choose a circle in one, or I'm doing a triangle here. Just keep choosing different patterns and colors in each section and repeat it over and over again. I like to do things like swirls and what's this? This looks like the letter L over and over again. That's a trick. If you run out of ideas, just take one letter and repeat it as a pattern over and over again. There's about 26 letters in the alphabet, aren't there? So there's lots of options, lots of different shapes too. As you create your pattern with shapes, think about what kind of texture it looks like it might have. Does it look like you're making it a rough fabric or something that's smooth based on the kind of pattern you use? Here's the finished project. Thanks for doing art with me today. I hope you enjoyed creating wintery mittens with pattern and implied texture. I hope I get a chance to see the art that you created.